The US government has been making headlines for statements around autism that are entirely unsupported by evidence and science. I saw a clip of President Trump suggesting that pregnant women with fever should just tough it out. And he repeatedly said not to take Tylenol, which is the US brand name for paracetamol. We'll start by saying there hasn't really been this autism crisis wave that they're saying there is. While autism rates are rising, it's almost entirely explained by better diagnosis. You are absolutely right. And even if there was this so-called autism crisis, these two initiatives are highly unlikely to have a significant impact on mm. autism rates. Some research has shown an association between paracetamol use in pregnancy and an increased risk of autism in children. But you know, just because there's a relationship doesn't mean paracetamol causes autism. Other factors could be at play. Other factors we actually know about are genetics, right? Yes, absolutely. So another Another study of nearly 2.5 million children found that those who were exposed to paracetamol during pregnancy did have a slightly higher risk of developing autism, but this effect completely disappeared after comparing children exposed to the painkiller with their unexposed siblings. So it really is dangerous then to issue this warning given that evidence that's very nuanced, it doesn't show a causative link. But there's a real risk to telling people that they can't take paracetamol during pregnancy. It's the only widely available medication for treating pain during that time and, and in particular fever. And fever during pregnancy can have really severe effects and should be treated.